Hi guys, welcome to my study compass. In this video, I'll be walking you through the past paper, Math B1, Variant 2, October November 2021. Let's get started. Write the number 400,000 and 400 in figures. This is the number in figures. To confirm this, you can type 400,000 plus 400 into your calculator. Write 60,287 correct to the nearest 10. The number in the 10th position is 8. The number after 8, which is 7, is greater than 5. So we add 1 to 8, giving us 9, and the number after 8 becomes 0. So we have 60,290. Find the value of square root of 345.96. When we type this into the calculator, we get 18.6. Write down the mathematical name for this type of angle. The angle shown is less than 90 degrees. An angle less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. Write 9% as a decimal. When we type 9% into the calculator, we get the decimal equivalent to be 0 0.09. Write 0 0.6 as a fraction in its simplest form. When we type 0 0.6 into the calculator, we get the fraction equivalent to be 3 over 5. Write down the reciprocal of 20. The reciprocal of any number is 1 over the number. So in this case, that would be 1 over 20. Write down the order of rotational symmetry of a rectangle. The order of rotational symmetry for all rectangles is 2. Draw all the lines of symmetry on this equilateral triangle. A line of symmetry is simply a line that cuts a shape into two, such that one half is a mirror image of the other. An equilateral triangle has three lines of symmetry. In triangle ABC, AB is 7 cm and BC is 5.6 cm. Using a ruler and compasses only, construct triangle ABC. Leaving your construction axe, the line AC has been drawn for you. Using a ruler, we measure the width of the compass to be 7 cm. Then we stand at point A and construct an arc. Now we measure the width of the compass to be 5.6 cm. Then we stand at point C and construct another arc. The intersection of the arcs is the point B. From here, we draw two lines from point A and C to point B to complete the triangle. The temperature at midnight is negative 8.5 degrees Celsius. The temperature at 11 a.m. is negative 1 degree Celsius. Work out the difference between the temperature at midnight and the temperature at 11 a.m. To get the difference in temperature, we subtract the initial temperature, which is negative 8.5 degrees Celsius, from the final temperature, which is negative 1 degree Celsius. This is equal to 7.5 degrees Celsius. Change 0 0.3 meters into centimeters. 1 meter is 100 centimeters. So to convert 0 0.3 meters to centimeters, we multiply 0 0.3 by 100, which is equal to 30 centimeters. Write down the mathematical name of this polygon. The total number of sides of the given polygon is 5. A polygon with five sides is a pentagon. The diagram shows a cuboid. On the one centimeter squared grid, draw an accurate net of this cuboid. One face has been drawn for you. A cuboid has six faces. In this case, two of the faces would have the dimensions 5 cm by 2.5 cm. Another two of the faces would have the dimensions 5 cm by 3 cm. 
Then the remaining two faces would have the dimensions 3 cm by 2.5 cm. One of the faces with dimensions 5 cm by 2.5 cm has been drawn on the grid for us. This face is connected directly to the faces with dimensions 3 cm by 2.5 cm on the sides and the face with dimensions 5 cm by 3 cm. This face is connected directly to the face with dimensions 5 cm by 2.5 cm, which is also connected to the face with dimensions 5 cm by 3 cm. The stem and leaf diagram shows the age and years of each of 15 women. Complete these statements. The modal age is blank. The modal age is simply the most recurring age. From the stem and leaf plot, this age is 41. The median age is blank. The median age is simply the middle age. Since the ages have already been arranged in ascending order in the stem and leaf diagram, we can find the position of the median age using the formula half of n plus 1, where n in this case is 15. This gives us 8. From the stem and leaf diagram, the age in the 8th position is 43. The percentage of women that are older than 51 years is blank percent. From the stem and leaf plot, we see that there are three women who are older than 51 years. And so the percentage for this would be 3 divided by the total number of women, which is 15 times 100%, which is equal to 20%. The price of a coat is 84.60 euros. Find the price of the coat in dollars when the exchange rate is 1 euro equals 1.15 dollars. First, we set up the conversion ratio. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 97.29 dollars. Work out 3 negative 2 plus negative 5, 7. To get the resulting vector, we add corresponding elements in each of the vectors. So we have 3 plus negative 5, which is equal to negative 2, and negative 2 plus 7, which is equal to 5. Work out 5 times 3 negative 1. To get the resulting vector, we multiply each element in the vector by 5. So 5 times 3 gives us 15 and 5 times negative 1 gives us negative 5. Change 2.15 hours into minutes. 1 hour is 60 minutes. So to convert 2.15 hours to minutes, all we need to do is multiply 2.15 by 60, which is equal to 129 minutes. Solve 7x plus 18 equals 4. When we subtract 18 from both sides of the equation, we have 7x equals negative 14. When we divide both sides by 7, we have x equals negative 2. 7 raised to the power y times 7 raised to the power 6 equals 7 raised to the power 18. Find the value of y. 7 raised to the power y and 7 raised to the power 6 have the same base and they are multiplying and so their powers add. This gives us 7 raised to the power y plus 6. Now that the bases are equal on both sides, their powers should also be equal. So we have y plus 6 equals 18. When we subtract 6 from both sides, we have y equals 12. These are the first four terms of a sequence. Write down the next term. We see that the terms in the sequence have a constant difference of plus 7. 
So to get to the next term, we add 7 to 24, which is equal to 31. Write down the term to term rule. The term to term rule is to add 7. Find the nth term. This is the nth term formula for sequences with a common difference. A1 is the first term and that is 3. D is the common difference, which is 7. When we expand the brackets, 7 times n is 7n and 7 times negative 1 is negative 7. 3 minus 7 is negative 4 and so the nth term is 7n minus 4. Find the 40th term. To get the 40th term, we plug in n equals 40 into 7n minus 4. This gives us 276. Triangle ABC and triangle ACD are isosceles. Angle DAB is 86 degrees and angle ADC is 58 degrees. Find the value of x. Base angles in an isosceles triangle are equal. To get this angle, we subtract 2 times 58 degrees from 180 degrees, which is equal to 64 degrees. When we subtract 64 degrees from 86 degrees, we get this angle to be 22 degrees. So for triangle ABC, 22 degrees plus 2x should be equal to 180 degrees. When we simplify this equation and make x the subject, we have 79 degrees. Angelique rents a room for a party. The cost of renting the room is $15.50 for the first hour and then $7.25 for each additional hour. She pays $95.25 in total. Work out the total number of hours she rents the room for. For the $95.25 she paid, $15.50 is for the first hour and 7.25x is what she pays for the remaining hours. When we group like terms and make x the subject, we get 11. This means, in addition to the first hour, she rents the room for an additional 11 hours, and so the total number of hours she paid for is 12. Without using a calculator, work out 1 over 3 divided by 7 over 6 plus 1 over 5. You must show all your working and give your answer as a fraction in its simplest form. First, we solve 1 over 3 divided by 7 over 6. To solve this, we bring 1 over 3 and replace the division with multiplication. Then we bring in the reciprocal of 7 over 6, which is 6 over 7. 3 goes into itself once and goes into 6 two times. And so for the numerator, 1 times 2 is 2. And for the denominator, 1 times 7 is 7. Now that we have 2 over 7 plus 1 over 5, we need to find the LCM for 7 and 5, which is 35. For 2 over 7, since we multiply 7 by 5 to get 35, we also need to multiply 2 by 5, which is equal to 10. For 1 over 5, since we multiply 5 by 7 to get 35, we also need to multiply 1 by 7, which is equal to 7. 10 plus 7 is 17, and so our final answer is 17 over 35. Work out the size of one interior angle of a regular 10-sided polygon. Here is the formula for the size of an interior angle in a regular polygon, where n is the number of sides of the polygon. In this case, the polygon has 10 sides, so we plug in n equals 10 into the formula. This gives us 144 degrees. In a group of 650 people, 117 are left-handed. Find the expected number of left-handed people in a group of 5,000 people. 
If out of 650 people, 117 are left-handed, then if we have 5,000 people, how many people do we expect to be left-handed? This is what we are calling x. When we cross multiply and make x the subject, this is what we have, which is equal to 900. At an airport, 216 people are asked whether they speak English or French. Complete the Venn diagram. We've been told that 61 people do not speak English or French, so we put 61 outside set E and F. 43 people speak both English and French, so we put 43 in the intersection of E and F. 125 people speak English, so when we subtract 43 from 125, we get 82 which represents the people who speak English only. To get the number of people who speak French only, we subtract the sum of 82, 43, and 61 from the total number of people, which is 216. This gives us 30. Find N of F. In other words, we are to find the number of people who speak French. This number is 43 plus 30, which is equal to 73. On this Venn diagram, shade the region A intersection B. In other words, we are to shade the region common to sets A and B. The result should look like this. Yasmin has four white flowers, three red flowers, and X yellow flowers. She picks a flower at random. The probability that it is white is 1 over 5. Find the probability that it is yellow. The probability that she picks a yellow flower is equal to the number of yellow flowers, which is x, divided by the total number of flowers, which is 7 plus x. We need to find the value of x. We've been given the probability that she picks a white flower as 1 over 5, which is equal to the number of white flowers, which has been given as 4, divided by the total number of flowers, which is 7 plus x. When we cross multiply, we have 7 plus x equals 20. When we subtract 7 from both sides, we get x equals 13. Now that we have the value of x to be 13, the probability that she picks a yellow flower would be 13 over 7 plus 13, which is equal to 13 over 20. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful. See you in the next video. Bye guys.